I am speaking on their behalf. Uh, first of all, we have seen the great debilitating um, pictures and scenes from people with mycetoma. We have seen the, 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 the sadness, the futility, and the depression. And for some of us who are able to see, uh, uh, be part of yesterday's training workshop for even uh, a few minutes, we were able to see the cyclic, uh, the, the kind of cyclic poverty that is manifested by this disease. And so, as we move towards thinking about the sustainable development goals, there is no way we can achieve these sustainable development goals um, without really addressing this issue of mycetoma, which is affecting the poorest of the poor, as we saw in many of the videos and seen in many for those who have uh, interacted with patients. We cannot claim universal health coverage and leave no one behind if we are unable to address the burden of mycetoma and the intense suffering and financial burden it causes to families. WHO's vision for 2019 to 2023 is threefold. Promote health, keep the world safe, and serve the vulnerable. Promote health, keep the world safe, and serve the vulnerable. It is through this vision that we wish to focus on the accelerated efforts to end mycetoma, seeing as we will be serving the vulnerable, and this, in this case, the extremely vulnerable. I'd like to thank Rod for taking us uh, through the, the, the history of mycetoma and the passing of the batons, which was really very, very interesting for those of us who, who uh, are, are new to mycetoma. But also just to, to focus a little bit on Sudan when it comes to neglected tropical diseases. Sudan has de demonstrated tremendous effort in tackling these diseases. So as well as mycetoma, they've worked on lymphatic filariasis, Onchocerciasis, and um, which already for onchocerciasis, there are two foci in Sudan which have eliminated transmission, two out of four. Um, we are looking at uh, diseases such as guinea worm, where Sudan is in the final steps, and we hope that soon we can attain cert certification. And then, of course, mycetoma. And despite constraints, Sudan has invested significant funding for NTDs especially schistosomiasis and mycetoma. For mycetoma, Sudan is making great efforts to increase access to medicines. And here, when we speak of funding, although there is, funding, uh, there is some funding from Sudan, funding is extremely important to keeping the mycetoma agenda alive. We understand, we, we know that the, the, the conference uh, here in Sudan is at a critical crossroads of moving forward. We have the information, we have the data, but it's not enough. We need to work harder to get more information that will allow us to accelerate progress in the, in, in the elimination of, uh, of mycetoma, but initially to at least give care to the people who are uh, suffering from these debilitating diseases. So let me recall what WHO has been doing to, to address uh, this burden. So as early as 2015, WHO, uh, quite late in the series of events that, 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 that have been talked about, but uh, WHO supported the Federal Ministry of Health of Sudan's request to recognize mycetoma as a neglected tropical disease and designated the first WHO collaborating center on mycetoma the Mycetoma Research Center here at the University of Khartoum in Sudan. A report was then presented to the 2016, at the, in 2016 to the 108th, 38th session of the World Health Executive Board. And in the same year, the 69th World Health Assembly adopted a resolution 69.2 on mycetoma. And this uh, ladies and gentlemen, is a critically important resolution because it has allowed us to make the progress that we're making now. It has put mycetoma in the map, on the map. It has put mycetoma higher up on the priorities of the department. 
and it has allowed us to make the kind of, uh, hopefully we make the kind of leaps and bounds that we are uh, making now. We are playing our role in implementing the resolution and identified key actions to promote the work in the following areas. First of all, burden assessment. So in 2016 and 2017, policies and practice on mycetoma in 164 countries were assessed in all WHO regions. In, tech, in the area of technical cooperation and partnership, we have convened meetings of experts. And um, only yesterday, um, there was the, uh, there was only a few, th three days ago, as, um, as mentioned earlier, there was a, a, a workshop um, and the first international workshop of its kind which focused on mycetoma. And um, a working group on mycetoma, uh, was ha which has been formed, uh, which was originally there, uh, formed, uh, ended up forming working groups, which, have, which will be useful in taking forward the mycetoma agenda. In terms of strategic development, WHO's special program for research and training in tropical diseases has already provi provided support to the Mycetoma Research Center to conduct operational studies to develop uh, a protocol and quantify the burden of mycetoma at community level. In terms of advocacy, we are advocating very strongly for mycetoma, for funding for mycetoma, for focus on mycetoma, for elevating and putting mycetoma on the, uh, on the global, the regional, and national radars of countries. And uh, research, uh, lack, last but not least, research, there is a severe lack of suitable tools for early detection, treatment, and prevention of the disease. And as you all know, and as you saw in the videos, medicines are a major challenge, and they limit the outcomes of case management, which relies extensively on surgery. And at the end of the day, like Natalie said, we cannot have an infectious disease whose solution is amputation. And so the current trials that are being supported by DNDI and ISAI of Japan uh, are going to be extremely useful for us in, uh, if we do uh, get a breakthrough for uh, the drugs to be used in combating this debilitating disease. And uh, WHO has been working closely uh, with SI in another program, in the, the donation of DEC for, uh, d uh, for lymphatic filariasis, and hence we are thankful, uh, very thankful to Isai for, for this support, thankful to DNDI for this support, um, and we, we, we look forward to really having uh, better treatment, uh, which will result in better treatment outcomes for the patients with mycetoma. A better understanding of the etiology of this disease will take us a long way in addressing prevention. And prevention is extremely important, but if we don't really know what to do, it is, very, it is, it is difficult to do it. And so uh, we hope that research will also address these issues. We also hope that research will address issues around mental health and the mental illness of mental uh, condition of patients, especially as, as you can see, depression uh, is, uh, could, is one of the factors that these people also face, given the futility of the disease. And so that, as well as the other determinants of, 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 of disease, the other uh, unspoken determinants of the disease, we do hope that research will be able to look, look, uh, look at them and come up with uh, solutions. So with more global cooperation, and having listened to Ashok speak about the um, the, the call for action. We look forward to more global cooperation. We look forward to smart partnership. We look forward to more stimulated research. We look forward to tools and diagnostics. And I hope that the working groups, with the working groups who are fo the, the working groups that focused on the various aspects, particularly the epidemiology, the diagnostics, the uh, possible treatments, the um, um, issues around alliance and partnerships. I hope that these working groups will not be only when the meetings are held, but that these working groups will continue to work continuously in between uh, meetings and throughout the year and remind us all the time about the importance of putting mycetoma 
on the agenda, both at WHO and in, in, in the various countries that we work. Please ensure that this agenda is, this, this torch is held, this torch is that we do not drop this baton this time. And it is only you who can keep us accountable and keep us responsible. So I sincerely ask each and every one of us to ensure that this, uh, this army of people fighting against mycetoma really keeps on. Let us keep on in the, and, and let us make sure that, we, that this fight gets, is finally won. Because it is a fight that will finally bring us to a, a, a lot of, um, a, great, a great part of it will be addressing some of the issues that we are talking about in the SDGs. I, I sincerely hope that we, we will all enjoy the conference ahead of us, bring stimulating ideas, think about what, this, what kind of smart partnerships we can bring together to move forward. Thank you very much, and I wish you a very successful conference.